dirty old gonna get the sport track ready to sell Bill Severe, eh? Pretty great, this boys girl. So what I'm gonna do first of all, can you see me? Probably not. What I'm gonna do first of all is get this garage half cleaned out so I can pull the old sport track in halfway and get that metal stuff off the old doodad. The old thing bobber there. So now that that's kind of cleared out somewhat real quick in five minutes or less, we gotta go take the battery and go around back and see if we can't get the sport track fired up, boys. Who wants to come with me? My other battery quit working, like I told you in one of the videos there. I don't know if you remember that, but I got another one I did. Another brand new one, boys. So hopefully we can get the old Sportage fired up again. That way I can remove the light bars and stuff like this and that and the other thing. Give her a quick clean job. Get rid of her, boys. I got too much stuff in this yard. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Sport Tracky? Hey? Dirty old bastard, you. So I'll try to stab you here for now because this hood likes to slam on my fingers, it does. Do I have a flat tire, boys? Sure do. Frank's sakes. I'll have to drive her up front with a flat tire, we will. Why wouldn't I? Oh, yeah, baby. You're decent. All right, so we'll just undo this for now. The old girl hasn't started in about two months, boys. How long have I had the Silverado? That's how long it's been since this thing's been a running. So hopefully I can get a half decent connection without tightening. Holy. Listen of them headlights. Fired right up, boys. Hey, well the Sportage fired right up, it did. It's gonna be a decent little vehicle for somebody. Once they uh, put some brakes on it and maybe a ball joint or two. So now that she's running, let's get her up front and uh, we'll fill up that tire first of all in the cold. Hey, listen to the factory stereo. Freaking right. All right, are you gonna move, boy? Oh, hey, she's frozen. There she goes. She's moving, boys. Flat tire and all. We just gotta take her easy with her because we don't wanna bust the old tire off the rim ski boys of course there's somebody back in at the same friggin time hurry up so we'll nose job her into the garage like so eh like so and then we'll shut her down for now give her a couple little revs listen to her she sounds good eh? that sounds good boys Friggin right it does so now what we'll do is we'll top up the old tire we'll give the old tire a toppage we just happened to have some air boys she must have a little beadage leak, she does. Which is normal for aluminum. Tires are like brand new still, boys. Oh, she was right flat. Flatter than the L Bundy's neighbor Marcy, eh? Almost at 30, boys. Let's just take her to 35 for now. A little 35 action. Now, we'll uh, get this old bitch off. Once they find out where the wires are going so we can get them out. Handyman's friggin' hood prop here, boys. Handyman hood prop, boys. So now, we get these wires down through. Like so, eh? Like so. There we go. Break that off. I'm not really worried about the wiring, boys, because they're gonna be rewired anyway. There's one side. 
I think I'll have a better chance of selling this thing with all this stuff off, to be honest with you. She's kind of redneckish right now, and a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff, eh? So now what I'm gonna need is a grinder, boys. Got the grinder off, we are. But, next question is, do I have a grinding disc? Ah, I bet you I don't. Might have to cut her off with this thing. We'll have to see how well this thing works. It will work, but it'll take for freaking ever. All right, let's see if we can't get in here and give her a little grind job. We got the grinder back here and then get her out of the way. Hey. Wow. transmission section here. Can't sell it with a little transmission goop coming down, boys. Oh, it's a line. We got a leaky line, we do. Oh well, I can fix that. So now that that's off, let's cut these off straight and I'll just say this is for towing it, boys. Holy Christ, I'm all hooked up. Tell you one thing, I got a good weld in the frame. Holy. Decent. There we go. A little bit of the good stuff. So there we go, front push bars off, boys. And they painted up the nubs, so if anybody wants to add something later on, they can, there's a nub there. So there she is, eh? If anybody wants one of them, let me know. Cheap, boys, hey? Eh? Real cheap. Next, we gotta pull this thing off. And then we'll do some interior cleaning and uh, check that transmission line there and see if we can't get it figured out. Maybe have to replace it because I really don't want to sell this to somebody with a leaking transmission line. I don't want to put any money into it, but I'm not that kind of person either, eh? Frig no. I already know what it needs. It needs brakes, maybe a ball joint. So that's enough for them to fix to get it on the road, boys. Don't need a transmission line to fix too. What? Maybe they do. I don't know. We'll have to see. But All right, boys, girls, peoples. So first thing I got to do in here, in the little back of the truck ski, is pull out these ratchet straps that were kind of a help to protect it from flying off, eh? Because <laughs> when you mount stuff to a tunnel cover, you gotta be careful you do. But these ratchet straps have been on for so long, I don't know if I'll get them off. There's one. Ah, uh, uh, eight, ah, uh, two. And number three, boys. So now I gotta get these bolts off. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, boys. So now that those bolts are down, we can remove this ratchet strap and let her down, boys. We gotta remove the spare tire we do. That will make it a lot lighter to friggin' move, eh, wouldn't you think? I'd say so. Not sure of the size yet, because I know I got a few different sizes on the spare tire. Careful. Oh, easy. Careful. So now that that's off, oh, hit her head on the friggin' damn friggin' doodad and lift her off, boys. Off comes the old spare. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna put this back under the truck or just put it. Carol! We're just freaking flying along here. Man. Careful. So now that that's off, we can lift off that, boys. Watch your head on that friggin' doodad, boys. I'll tell you one thing this tunnel cover is soft, all, all it, boys. Don't you fall forward, you son of a bitch. My luck, it go right through the window. Alright, I'll well, slide this on, like so. Hey, like so. Oh, boys, it's heavy. I'm gonna build something to build a ring to do. And there we go. Just gotta clean that up, put a couple dowels in the hole, and she's back to normal, she is. Should get some cleaner and clean that off right now. We'll just use a little bit of the old tire foamage, boys. Spray her out with the old tire foamage. And we'll give her a wipe down. Actually, she's cleaning up pretty good. Here, I thought it was cold out. Now that I'm working my ass off, and you're staring right at the ceiling, it's not too bad. There we go. Beast. What do you think, boys? She's back to normal. She doesn't look like a ghetto monster now. Decent. Now we just gotta do some interior cleaning. 
Remove some wires. And, uh, freaking right. So he decided I'm just gonna throw the spare tire in the back of her, and whoever buys it can put it back underneath if they want it underneath. And it comes, yes it does, it comes with one of these things too, boys. We're getting there, we are. She looks normal again. Spoosh, sprucing, boys, eh? Spruce her up, Jim. All right, boys, girls, peoples, I got the interior somewhat cleaned up, I do, eh? She looks a lot better than she did, eh? Still a little dirty, boys. The next person can go through her and clean her better than that. She smells good. But what I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fix this leak on the transmission line because I found it, boys. And it's that one, that little thing right there. So all I can do is drop this bottom piece and hopefully get into her there. Because like I said, I don't want to sell her with a leak, boys. Not a transmission leak. I'm not an arsehole, I'm not. So let's get you mounted on a piece of steel or something here. And you can watch me go at her, boys. You see? Probably not. Oh, oh, eh? oh. Uh oh, those aren't tens. That might be. Now we're gonna need eight millimeter, boys. One, two, and three. Now hopefully that thing will fall right out of there. Sure will, eh? There we go. So let's have a boo in here and see what we got going on. Oh, we got a punky line, boys. So we're gonna have to take this hose and extend it back to here. And you know what? I had to do that a couple years ago, I did. I don't know if this hose is gonna be long enough. But we're gonna friggin' try, we are. Oh, ooh, eh? Here's my leak. Here's my leak, boys. See if I can't get you in the position. Right there. The line's a little crusty, so I'm gonna try to undo this line and hopefully have enough to cut it here and move the hose back and reclamp it and that will take care of the transmission leak. How fast can we do this without losing fluid is the next question. I know I stretched that one as far as I could stretch it. And this one here, you can't pull the line forward like you did on this one. So I don't think I'm gonna have enough hose. I'm gonna have a look, see if I can find a hose. I'll be right back, guys. All right, boys, well, I found a piece of hose with two clamps. I don't have enough to do the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna put a piece in, boys. That way uh, she'll be golden. So I got myself a trusty little pipe cutter here and I'm gonna slop her on and see if we can't cut her up, boys. Oh, this pipe cutter's dick. All right. I found a better one I did. So, see, the th the problem with me is when I'm selling a vehicle, you don't want to sell her when she's too cocked over. Well, nobody will buy the goddamn thing. So you want to try to... Careful. You want to try to fix as much as we can. That way they say, well, the thing's just a pile of shit. Like, literally, junk, boys. And I don't want that, eh? You can't give it to them with thousand things wrong you can't so we'll just cut this off like so and it's gonna piss all over me but it is what it is boys any that kind of stuff happens we'll just have to top her back up we will cut this off like so and hopefully this line's big enough it's gonna really suck if it's not i'll tell you that right now decent there she is oh my god eh? so we'll slide that on there like so like so and she fits boys get that way <clears throat> oh, hey. oh. Stick that up there so it doesn't pour out as fast. Cause we're just getting shit everywhere we are. What a messy fucking job this is gonna be. So now we gotta cut this piece off. I'm not sure where to cut her off yet, boys. Let's cut her off here. Let's cut her off on the angle of the dangle. Look at it, just pissing out. Holy, is that thing ever pissing, boys? So that's off. So now what we can do is we can slide this one onto here, like so. Like so. Uh oh, my clamp might be too tight. Oh god, I got transmission fluid all over my fucking driveway now, for fuck's sakes. This is awesome. Come on, get out of there. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna go get a rag, boys, and clean this off a little bit. Alright. So, I need my pliers to walk this on a little better. The old fingers are frozen, they are. She's not too nice out today. Not a good day to fix the transmission line, boys. To be honest with you. I'm gonna need some heat, I think. Alright, so we'll heat this line up, just so I can get her slid over further. You know what it's like when things are cold, boys? Doesn't like to go on. There you go. If that one's on, we'll tighten her up with the old clamp ruski. There we go. We'll check this one while we're down here. So now we'll do this clamp. We'll heat this one up and slide her on some more. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. That thing slid way on. So now we'll tighten this one up, like so. There we go. Now she's good for another 100,000, boys. We'll give her a little dry off. 
because I want to keep an eye on her, make sure. And we'll dry off the old other piece too, boys. Hey, okay. oh, freaking right wall. Oh, give it a wipe down. I just ruined another one of Mom's dish towels. I'm gonna eat in shit, boys. Okay, go tell her. Slap this thing back up. Turn the goddamn heat gun off so you can hear me. Even though it felt good. There we go. There's one side, and there's the other side. What do I got going on here? I'm in the wrong hole. I'm in the wrong hole, Jim. And there you go, that's fixing a transmission line with Bilsif. And she looks mint, boys. Blind man be happy to see that, he would. Eh, pretty right he would. Yeah, there's a culprit right there. That line is just cocked right over, boys. It's where the clamp sits on today. Eh? The clamp sits on it and it rots them for some reason. It's freaking self-lubricated, it shouldn't be rotten. Freak. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna clean up real quick here, cause I'm just a mess now, and then I'll be back, I will. Well, there we go, boys and girls, peoples. I got the sport track listed, I did. Holy, what a workout that was today. But it makes me feel a lot better knowing that I fixed the transmission line. I gotta take this jacket off. Oh, frick yeah, boys, girls, peoples. Don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, hit that notification bell bar button if you like this video, eh? And leave a comments below, boys and girls, peoples. I actually got off my ass today and worked in the cold, I did. Eh? Why wouldn't I? But uh, got a lot accomplished today. The sport track's bugging the hell out of me sitting in the backyard collecting dust, it is. Gotta get rid of some stuff around here. Starting to get too much shit, boys. Figuring right I am. But anyways, I'm gonna take a little wander down Tim Hortons here and get myself a little Timmy's coffee. I deserve one, I think. That's what I did today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully come back for another one. Why wouldn't you, right? Freaking right, my freaking camera's all cocked over. Freaking right it is. Anyways, you know what to do for now.